Thank um, you. Well done. Um, I'm, I'm a bit sad because uh, the footy season's coming to an end and uh, I've had a great win a winter out there at the country footy. Um, down in uh, Kangaroo Island there's, uh, there's five clubs, so a population of 4,500 people spread over 4,500 square kilometres, sustained five clubs that, um, that uh, have uh, three footy teams plus a whole heap of netball teams going out there every week. So I think Kangaroo Island has one of the highest ratios of uh, sport participation anywhere in Australia and uh, it was terrific to be over there on the weekend for the grand finals in the footy and the netball and um, uh, well done the Hounds, Kingscote, they, uh, they were up for three grand finals on, su and on Saturday and uh, took out all three, the Colts, we had kids aged uh, between 10 and 16, so and some girls and some boys. So there was a fair bit of uh, height disparity in that game. But I tell you, those little, uh, the smaller kids had uh, plenty of ticker and took uh, plenty of good marks and uh, displayed plenty of wonderful skills. Um, and um, so they won the, the, the Colts, they won the B grade and the A grade, both against Western Districts, uh, or Wonks as they're known. And last year it was uh, Western Districts who'd risen from the bottom of the ladder to, uh, um, to take out the Premiership in both the A grade and the B grade. So uh, this time Kingscote, who'd had a long drought in getting uh, Premiership flags, uh, took that honour. And it was the first time since 1974, in fact only the second time in history, but in 1974 Kingscote also won all three games on the one day. And I must also congratulate the uh, Dudley United Netball Club, who uh, beat um, uh, was anger in the uh, the final of the A grade in the netball, and well done to a team that's uh, had a lot of success. Uh, they've won 11 of the past 13 A grade grand finals on Kangaroo Island. Um, this week we'll turn out for the Great Southern Footy League uh, grand finals at, at Mount Compass, and it's going to be a pretty early start with the. Uh, uh, the, the, the junior Colts heading out there at uh, about 9.15, I think, and Wollonga's playing in there in the, uh, the junior Colts. They're also playing in the senior Colts, and in the B grade, it's Wollonga versus My Ponga, so My Ponga Selig. So I'm going to have split uh, duties there. I'll probably just have to wear some neutral colours because both of those uh, wonderful teams are in my electorate. But I think I'm... Uh, leaning a little bit towards my Ponga because I've had a long drought and talking to uh, Nick Hutchinson who's uh, uh, the head of Flurio Milk and also a very handy footballer. He's played 227 games but until two weeks ago he'd never played in a winning final. So uh, to Nick and all the mudlarks all the very best uh, uh, for Saturday and of course um, to Wollonga. hope you go very well as well but the Demons have been a very successful powerhouse club for many many years in the uh, Great Southern Footy League. Um, in the A grade, what a Cinderella story this is. After three wooden spoons in a row, a new coach comes uh, back home to McLaren and uh, has taken over the reins there, Gianni Petrucci, and he's taken them from uh, three-time wooden spooners to grand finalist in one year. And uh, two weeks ago, they knocked off um, Wollonga. Uh, down at Encounter Bay, and what a thrilling game that was. Uh, only a couple of points in it in the end. And then uh, last uh, Saturday they beat um, uh, Mount Compass to go through to the grand final against Langhorne Creek. So it's been a real lift for um, the people of McLaren Vale, McLaren Flat, who came together to form the uh, McLaren Eagles uh, a couple of decades ago now. So um, country footy, country netball is a tremendous uh, activity for, that brings people together right around our state um, each and every uh, weekend uh, during, the, the, during the winter months. And I want to just uh, again touch on Johnny Petrucci. He left um, McLaren Flat, his uh, McLaren Eagles, and his first coaching role was at uh, the Ranella Wineflies, where he took them to two flags. And then he went on to Sturt's B grade and took them to two flags. And then he was offered the job back down at uh, McLaren to come and coach. And he wanted to be around his kids. And I've got to say, the culture that changed that has happened in that club this year has been absolutely outstanding. And he's there. I saw him in the rooms after the win against Wollonga two weeks ago. And he had his uh, young son on his hip and his daughter holding his hand in the room after the game as he addressed uh, uh, the players. Um, all that in stark contrast contrast to what happened in the SANFL over the weekend and uh, look the SANFL need to get their act into gear and make sure that never happens again. I was delighted like a lot of people to see North get into the grand final after a long drought of uh, um, premiership success but you can't have people out there, um, you know, to more than uh, the, the required 18 people on the field and um, I think the SANFL need to make some changes to make sure that this never ever happens again. I feel very sorry for the, uh, uh, for the Eagles. I think they 
probably deserve to be there up against Norwood on Sunday in the SANFL Grand Final.